the cameras in there. All right, can you shove it in? Oh. KPFA.org video channel, and we're streaming live from the Black Lives Matter uh, police tactics protest. And people are just gathering here at uh, the Berkeley campus near Center and Oxford, and they'll soon be marching to City Hall. So I'll just leave it on the crowd for now. People are coming in with their signs. There's an even bigger camera behind us, but we're here. A lot of familiar faces. Well, let me go over there and get that. Get your, your coat on. We actually get an interview with somebody while we're waiting. No, speaking about that. We got one viewer, probably Clark. <laughs> So right now we're waiting for um, one of the leaders of the um, uh, Black Students Union leaders. They're over there interviewing with Channel 2 or something right now. So when we get down to 3, we'll uh, be right back. But for now, we're sitting here at the end of University Avenue, just about between University and Center, the campus of Berkeley, getting ready to march down to City Hall in uh, against horrible police tactics used against the Black Lives Matter movement last December. We'll be right back.
biggest regret is having never met that Oscar Wilde who fully actualized my sexuality. Who is Oscar Wilde? It's the LGBTQ thing. How's it now? So we have a few posters here. There are more coming, uh, posters and signs. We also have a really large Black Lives Matter banner. So for fellow black folks who want to be in the front holding that, please, by all means, we need to be all in the front. Um, and I think that's about it. We'll just mingle. We'll be waiting for more people to come around. And we'll be here. We'll leave here around 10 minutes or so. I'm the president of the Black Student Union at Berkeley High. And so right now, because I see a lot of white ally faces, which is really great, I want to talk about what it looks like to be an ally. Um, we're going to ask you to not lead chants, but join in in chants, because these are your streets, no offense, and they're not our streets. So if we're chanting uh, your streets, our streets, I'm going to ask you to remain silent on that specific chant. And then as far as the other ones, as long as you're not leading them, please join us to support um, the movement. Can you all hear me? Yes. Uh, great. So it's not about being inclusive. It's about making sure that black lives matter and that black voices are being heard here. Great. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll leave you again in like almost ten, around 10 minutes. So thank you.
to save this. Kind of like turn this way so it'll pick oh, up. No, it's, it's all right. Thank way. you. Go ahead. All right. You want to look at you or look at the camera? It's all right. Either way, just as long as you're facing this way. way. Yeah. yeah. So as far as our protocol, what we wanted to do is to make sure everyone's safe, the marchers as well as the community. And we think we're kind of the um, the model for what the police could do as well, right? It's communication, transparency, interaction, and just clear setup as to what we're doing. So we made a very clear meeting with Chief Meehan last Friday telling him what we're doing, not asking for permission, but just giving him the FYI. Accordingly, then he set up people to be on the perimeter and the officers will ensure that we don't get hit. I asked them to try to hold traffic if they can. We're taking upon ourselves to self-police and be our own community, right? So we should be able to do that and we can. So we've been organizing, having a few meetings in advance, um, sort of deputized people here with a yellow armband on their left. They're going to go into the intersection, hey, black people. And it's a black people-led march, and a number of the students have shown up. So as far as the safety protocols, it's that one, it's a nonviolent use of protest. So in the um, sort of the footsteps of Dr. King and Ella Baker and all those who have marched nonviolently to make social justice happen over the years, Gandhi, et cetera, that's the model that we're operating under. Also, uh, we do know that um, it's been a struggle and a lot of suffering, and so we don't want to bring upon suffering by somebody who's getting hit. Um, there was a black-led march on College Avenue for the students, and there was uh, a white woman in a car who tried to run us over. 
I remember that. Yeah, so I interacted, had a talk with her, tried to make sure there wasn't an emergency. She just wanted to exercise, white privilege, I guess, because she wanted to go home. So we um, asked her to please cooperate. Uh, the other thing we're doing tonight is letting them know in advance if there's an emergency, we will certainly let people through, and there should be no justification for holding up an ambulance, which they claim happened on December 6th because of the protest, because they have a standing protocol, which makes no sense whatsoever, about people not being able to go out without a police escort if there's a protest zone, and so the man had a heart attack, and we don't want anyone blaming it on us um, as far as his lack of treatment getting to him. Um, okay. Do you feel like with this communication with the police now that you expect things to be done differently tonight than in, um, in early December when a lot of the tactics they're rallying against tonight occurred? Yeah, I would hope so, and they should have avoided that even then, right? They were suited up for war, and we're there for peace. You know, they had on military gear. I got struck in the back with the baton. I got flash grenades thrown at my feet. I'm a nonviolent protester. have been for 30 years. I had my hands up when they hit me in the back. I was walking away when they threw the flash grenades. The things were on fire and they smoked. Um, it was unnecessary and that just, you know, sparked more eruption and uh, was destabilizing instead of stabilizing. So we're all about peace and justice and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get going pretty Thank soon. you. Looks like yeah. we got to get going. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. So we'll just continue to shoot around the place. Um, people gathering, I'll raise up a little bit to get a sense of where we're at. Howdy, howdy. It's Freeman Sullivan here, live streaming for KPFA Stream. How are you doing today? Let me get the camera set up here, and we'll be ready to go live in just a second. So we got a crowd of about at least 100 to 150 people here. 